Hey, what up guys? It's Caleb here and today is actually a very snowy day and beautiful day out there and we get quite a lot of snow today and I think it's very beautiful. I personally just like snow and I like to see things covering snow and I've been just staring out of my window for a while now and I loved it. Um, but anyways, I'm making this video to answer one of the questions that you guys have for me this week and it is about typography. So one of you guys would like to learn about my process for choosing a font. And actually last year I made a video about typography already uh, where I talked about you know the sizes of a font and the letter spacing of the fonts and where to use what type of fonts on the website. But I didn't really talk about you know how to actually choose the fonts from you know the beginning to end and where do I find all of my high quality fonts. So that is what I would like to go over in this video to just kind of tell you guys my trick on picking a fonts and matching that fonts with the rest of my project. And so let's uh, let's get started. Um, so the first thing that I'd like to talk about first is definitely you know the feeling of a fonts, right? So if you look at my in, uh, Figma here, then I believe that you know you don't need to be a designer to understand the feeling of a fonts, right? Like every single fonts, it kind of gives you a different feeling of it, right? So if you look at it here, what do you feel about this first one, right? It feels very bubbly, it feels like, you know, a burger menu, right? It feels like just very bold and like play, play, like childish and like funny and things, right? So maybe I would use it on a burger menu or like some child thing. And this one look like kind of like a food fonts too, right? Maybe another menu font. This one looks a little bit more like sci-fi. I'm not sure, like the tall-ish feeling of it, a bit sci-fi. This one may be good for wedding, and this one may be good for general things, right? It looks pretty standard. Maybe I would use it on a uh, startup website, right? And this one feels a little bit more punk, so maybe use it on some kind of t-shirt and things. So every single font have a different feeling, and you would like to kind of get that feeling and apply the same feeling for the project that you're working on, right? So finding the feeling, I think, is not a difficult thing. And everybody, even if you're not a designer, you know how to find the feeling of that font. But what I would like to focus a bit more on is matching the fonts to the rest of your projects, right? So by matching, I'm more talking about the style matching. So if you look at my slide here again, then you can see that, you know, like this kind of elements that I have for, you know, this graphic is very rounded and very curly and things right like curly edges and things rounded buttons and of course when i'm putting designing like when i'm choosing a fonts right i want my fonts to have the same kind of characteristic which you can see in here that you know this font is also very rounded and everything is rounded right no sharp edges no nothing so when you look at that at that right it feels very cohesive with the rest of the design i just feel like it's from the same place right it's like one piece of this whole picture Right, and the next thing as well, then you can see that you know this design has a lot of very sharp edges, like sharp edges in here, sharp edges in here, then you know, like basically sharp edges button as well. Then of course, right, when I'm picking a font, I want my font to share this same same characteristic, which is very sharp, right? You can see the M in here, super sharp edges, the I, very super sharp edges, like everything like that, right? Sharp, sharp, sharp. Then you can see, you know, when, when you're like that in here, right? It feels very cohesive. It feel like it is from the same design. So when you're breaking that rule, right? Then you can see it doesn't look like, it doesn't look right here now, right? Like you have sharp edges, then all of a sudden you have this kind of rounded button and rounded shape. It doesn't feel like it belong here. It's very out of place, right? So imagine now when, when you're on a small area like that, then you know, really doesn't look good, right? Then when you're working on a big website or a big print, like big banner, then if this kind of thing doesn't look good in small area, it definitely wouldn't look good in big area. So I think this is one of my tricks to kind of match the fonts to my design and make sure that everything looks very cohesive together. And that is one secret that I've been using on a lot of my design to make sure that, you know, they just look like they belong to the same place. And matching is very important. So finding the feeling and then tweaking your design or tweaking that font or finding that font that match with your design, I think it's an important step and that is one trick that I will share with you guys. And now I'd like to talk about how can you actually find all of these fonts for yourself, right? Like there are a million fonts out there and where do you actually find the high quality fonts, right? And when I was a junior designer, I would go on websites like this to just, you know, find some random fonts and there's a bunch of fonts 
on this kind of website that you can download and use it on your design. But like as a designer, I would recommend that you stay away from fonts like this. And the reason why is because you know these kind of fonts is not really well tested for title or for body fonts. So the designer may be just designing a fonts randomly for you know like it, it just look good. But when they put it together, it may not look as good. So as a designer, junior designer, or if you're not you know focused on creating typography. It is hard for you to find a font or, or design if a font is you know, matching everything. So one trick that I would use is just go on some you know very popular well-known studio, design studio or well-known website to just use their fonts from there because you know their designer or the font designer for that font is already tested every single aspect of that font, right? Either for title or for body. So any kind of fonts that you find on the internet if you like it, if you like the look of it, and if you think that you can use it on your design, I would recommend that you just download that font and put it in your library. And you don't need to have a big library. I think your library may be consist of you know 20 to 30 fonts. And that is a library that you can use for a lot of your project. And my library has about like 20 to 30 as well. So every single project that I find that I work on, I just use the similar fonts and I think it's great. So to just show you how to pick that font, right? You don't know what font is it being used on this website, right? But if I just want to know about this, I can go to here and then inspect the elements. And then it will just basically show me that, you know, the font family of the fonts being used on this website, right? Then you can just Google this font and try to find where it is being used and download it for your project. So that is one way that I create my own library of fonts is just going on different website and finding high quality font from trusted company or trusted design studio, then I'll just use it for my next project. I know that, you know, when I'm using it, it's great. And of course, right, Apple has their own fonts as well. And you bet that Apple designers spend a lot of time just trying to fix that fonts, right? For this kind of, you know, letter spacing, the thickness of the fonts and the light height of the fonts and everything, right? I bet that they, you know, adjust that font so much to make sure that it works well for everything, right? So when you're, when you're using this font, you already know that is well tested and to know what that font is basically again right inspect the elements then you can find that they're using SF Pro and it's actually a font that I use it on a couple of my projects as well and it's working great um, so yeah this font is actually public you can download it from um, I think the Apple brand guideline and it's free to use so again this is a good font to use and lastly I would like to show you guys this uh, this font you know studio for fonts um, they've been, you know, I've been using their fonts for a very long time and by the way, I'm not sponsored by them But because I'm using their fonts so much and I basically own all of their library like all of these fonts and they become my library and They've been like very very good So I just want to recommend it to you guys as well and you can see that you know all of these fonts. They're very very high quality and They test it for both title and body fonts. So all of these fonts very very well tested so when you're using it on your project you know that you know this is well tested and it's going to look great on your project and you can just see that you know this is very very high quality stuff that I just love whatever they do and whenever they launch a font and they will just message me hey we have a new font out and I'll just go ahead and download that and buy it because it's just great and you can see right like it's just beautiful typography and the designer put a lot of effort into creating that stuff. And the good thing about that, like the best thing about this is for this kind of high quality fonts, you can download it either for free, right? You can download it regular or you can just pay for whatever you want. So you can pay 15 bucks to just get a library, the complete library for the whole font. And you can know that if you find it somewhere else, fonts are actually very expensive. Like one type of font, like one style font may cost you about like 50 grand, like 50 bucks. So this is only for 15 and you can download the entire library. So that is a crazy deal and you can find high quality fonts for a very, very cheap price. And that is why, you know, I've been just using them for a very long time. And whenever I have a project coming up, I'll just go to their uh, library and just pick a font and use it on my project and simple as that. So I don't even have to go online and find for library myself. And I trust them so much that I've been just using all of their fonts for different type of project that I work on. Just high quality stuff if you look about that. So go ahead and check them out and that is pretty much all for this video and if you like the content definitely give it a thumbs up and follow me on social media links down below and if you have any questions ask away I will happy to answer those and I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers.